Hi, um, in this video we're going to look at the structure and organization of your HTML script and your CSS script. Now any website you create you need to make sure it's full, um, correctly organized and easily readable. So um, the way you lay it out you need to indent all divs correctly, um, any other uh, CSS properties you need to organize them correctly. That way anyone reading your script or anyone that looks at it uh, can see it more clearly rather than it being all over the place and a bit messy. Okay, so here we have a, a script that's poorly organized. What you know, firstly, we know about HTML. You need to make sure that you have HTML for after doc type. You have the HTML right at the top, and then the last thing at the bottom is HTML. That is one key aspect you need to make sure you have in the right order. The head begins at the top. So straight after HTML, you have the head followed by the close head just before the body. If it's in any other order, you will lose marks on this and it won't be organized. Uh, once, you, okay, so once we're past the head, we're into the body. Now we've got a div wrapper. So every time you add a new div, what you need to do is you need to make sure you indent it. So that goes inwards. And then the corresponding div for that is the closing one right at the end. So you need to indent that as well. Okay, and so on. Um, then the next one we have after we have this um, div here. So the div class top. What we can do is uh, press tab. Okay, so to indent any code, go to the beginning of it, press tab, and that will go in once. Notice we already have a div um, that you've uh, indented once. So indent it again. And now that top goes there. So now that starts to create this curve. Now images are within the div, so anything within the div needs to be indented again. So we compress tab here, that's currently in line with that um, div, so we're going to tab it one more time. This image, once again, tab it underneath, any other code, tab it. Okay, now this div starts here, it closes there, so we need to tab that in as well. So now can you start to see it's more organized? So the same thing we can do with this one. What we can do to make life quicker is you can highlight all of it and then we can indent it in once. Now because the wrapper encloses all of these divs together, uh, okay, we can't tab it in line with the wrapper. What we do is tab it in line with the above div. So these elements or these tags are inside the top div. Now the top div closes there, so when you start the new div, it has to be in line with the top div. The reason for that is, is because this navigation is not is not within the top um, div. So if it was within the top div, you'll indent it inward. But because it's not, um, you can put it in line. So that's um, in line. Next, we have a UL here. We indent that. Inside the ULs are the list items, so we indent that again. Okay, so here we are. Let me just put space there. Now, can you see how it's starting to look a lot more neater and less messy like um, other ones? Okay, so keep doing that. Keep indenting. If you want to leave a space in between to make it look uh, more visible, you can do that. Okay, so you keep indenting. So it's crucial to make sure you indent code so that it looks more neater and when you do your exam for unit 5 you'll get marks for it as well. Now let me just show you what it will look like once it's complete. So here is my finished version. As you can see, can you see the curves curving all the way around. So if you've done a um, complete div, you should start at the top, um, indented here and it should curve around like this semicircle here. So this should be this case for all of them. So that's curved as well, that's curved, okay, and so on. So that's how you indent HTML code. Now, indenting a style sheet, okay, this is how um, a messy style sheet would look like. But what you need to do is indent it correctly. So body is the name of our style, followed by this open curly brace or curly bracket. Then on the second line, you put the property and then indent that. So press tab once to indent it. Okay, and this curly brace which finishes off should be on the next line and at the beginning. So that closes off. That starts here, closes there. That's what um, a CSS property should look like. This one as well. Shouldn't be one after the other. Space that out. Same here. Let's space that out. Notice these properties are on the same line. What you should do is put them on the second line 
enter 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 okay so that's what a property look like if you've noticed and you've been using a dream weaver a lot you notice that when you actually add a property so let's just say i was writing a new property okay if you open up your curly bracket or curly brace as it's known as okay if you press enter it will automatically take you to the next line so it takes you to the line where you add your property so let's just add a property in here padding 10 px and then if i press enter and then i'll close the curly bracket notice it automatically does everything for me so as long as you are correctly um, putting the properties right putting the bracket semicolons where you finish it and the curly bracket it will automatically sort that out for you and make it uh, more visible clearer okay so that's how um, you embed code so a finished sheet would look like that as you can see one property after the other clearly organized and neat for a person to see so that's a CSS style sheet and how you would make it look um, uh, structured and presentable and this is a, a HTML remember the curves indent every div indent it